Today we're going to go over Lesson 23, Parts 1 and 2, which is working on volume of solids, finding the volume of different um, solids, such as rectangular prisms. It says, in grade 6, you learn to find the volumes of rectangular prisms and of solid figures composed of rectangular prisms. Take a look at this problem. So if we look, it says, find the volume of the figure shown so here we have a rectangular prism. We have a base of two inches, a height of four inches for the triangle, and then for the prism part, a height of five and a half inches. Um, so let's go ahead and look at what part A is asking for us to do. It says this figure is a right triangular prism. Imagine two prisms attached together like this. So, to indicate a right triangular prism, what they have done is draw that little box to show that it formed a right angle there, which is, of course, 90 degrees. And they're saying if we put two right triangular prisms together, that it's going to make a regular prism, as you can see. It says, for part B, describe the composed figure. It... is a rectangular prism. Part C, it says, what are the dimensions of the composed figure? Um, well, according to our drawing, it, we've got the dimensions of two inches, four inches, and five and a half inches. So it's two, two inches, four inches, and five and a half inches. Part D, it says, what is the volume of the composed figure? Um, for volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So we're going to take two times four times five and a half. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and if we take 8 times 5 and a half, we're going to get a total volume of 44 inches cubed uh, for the volume of this rectangular prism. Now, since we are dealing with volume, our units are always going to be cubed because we are multiplying three dimensions together, our length, width, and height. For part E, it says... How could you find the volume of the triangle prism you started with? Explain. So we could divide the volume of the rectangular prism by 2 since it's half. The size of the composed figure. The volume of the rectangular prism prism is 22 inches cube. Okay, it says a right prism is a solid um, that has two faces called bases that are polygons. The bases of a right prism are the same size and shape and parallel to each other. The other faces are rectangles and are perpendicular to the bases. And remember that perpendicular means that they form right angles. It says prisms are named by their bases. Here are some examples of right prisms. So we've got a triangular prism, rectangular prism, and a pentagonal prism. So we're going to highlight this information right here because this is very important. We're going to need this in order um, 
to help us with this lesson, the different types of prisms. It says, to find the volume of the, of the triangular prism on the previous page, you multiplied the three dimensions of the rectangular prism and took half, or divide the product by two. It says, so the formula for the volume of a triangular prism is one half times the length times the width times the height. Or as you can see, they put parentheses around um, one half times the length times the width because that... If we think back to um, when we were doing area of the composed figures in lesson 20, um, to do to figure that out of triangles, our volume was one half, I mean, our area was one half times base times height. So we're going to highlight this and star it, put a box around it. That's fine because we're going to need to know that. Uh, because they will not provide that for um, different assessments, that formula. And that's to figure out for triangular prisms. It says the expression one-half times length times width that represents the area of the triangle, the base of the prism. It says to find the volume of the right triangular prism, find the area of the triangular base, then the number of cubes in one layer, and multiply by the height, the number of layers. It says another three-dimensional shape is a pyramid. A pyramid has a base and triangular faces. As with prisms, a pyramid is named for the shape of its base. You will learn how to find the volume of the pyramids later in this lesson. Okay, so let's highlight that as well. So, of course, we're going to be dealing with prisms, but we're also going to be working with pyramids. And the pyramids that we'll be um, referring to and using are triangular pyramids and rectangular pyramids. And as you can see, they are named based on their base of the pyramid. So if you look at the triangular pyramid, it's got a triangular base. Rectangular pyramid has a rectangular pier, um, a rectangular base. It says for number one, do you think you can use a formula V equals B times H to find the volume of any right prism? Explain. Um, for that, yes. No matter what the base looks like. You can think of the area of the base as the number of cubes in one layer and the height as the number of layers. All right, now let's do part two. It says, read the problem below, then explore how to calculate volume using the formula for the volume of the right prism. It says, a packing carton in the shape of the triangular prism shown in the diagram below. What is the volume of the carton? Okay, so we have a triangular prism. As you can see, our prism height is 7 inches, um, which is our rectangular um, size. Then for our... Um, rectangle along with our triangle our base is two inches and our width for our rectangle is two inches as well our height of our triangle is one and a half inches it says the base of this prism is a triangle the base of the triangle measures two inches the height drawn to the base of the triangle measures one and a half inches and the height of the prism is seven inches it says you know the height of the prism you need to find the area of the base shown below. Okay, so we've got the base of two inches and the height of one and a half inches. So let's use what's been provided for us to solve this. So we know that volume is equal to base times height. And this base right here is of the triangle. And again, this is for the entire prism volume of this 
triangular prism. All right, and we know that for the base, it is one half base times height times height again, but that height is for the prism piece, which is our rectangular sides. Height of prism. The one half times base times height, that is the area of the triangle. All right, so if I put volume is equal to one half times two times one and a half and multiply that by the height of the prism, which is seven. And I can put that all in my calculator and do one half. And remember one half, we could also write it as 0 0.5. It means the same. If I take one half times two times one and a half times seven, I get a total volume of 10 and a half inches cube for our um, triangular prism. All right, so let's answer the questions. It says for number two, look at model it. Um, how do you know which faces of the carton are the bases? Um, the bases are the same size. Mm, bases are the same size and shape parallel. to each other. <clears throat> so describe the shapes of the other faces. Uh, the other faces are rectangles. Number four, which of the dimensions of the other faces do you use to find the volume of the prism? Explain. Well, the height of the prism is seven inches. Let's rewrite that. That's kind of messy. Seven inches, which is the length of one rectangular side. Number five, what is the area of the base of the carton? Show your work. Um, what we did here um, for the area is one half base times the height. And the base was two. The height was one and a half. Which would give us one and a half inches squared when we multiply that. And the volume of the whole carton was where we took the half base times height from the triangle and then multiplied it by the height of the prism piece. And when we multiplied those together, we got 10 and a half inches cubed. For number seven, it says, how can you find the volume of any triangular prism? We can multiply the base and height of the triangle together along with one half and then 
multiply the height of the prism. All right, number eight. It says, apply what you just learned about finding the volume of the following problems. Show your work on a separate sheet of paper. Um, number eight, it says the volume of the right triangular prism shown to the right is 178.75 cubic feet. Again, the word cubic means that we are um, going to have um, three dimensions multiplied together because it is talking about volume. So, um, it says write and solve an, equ an equation to find the value of X. So, they've given us the volume of the whole figure. Then they've given us the height of the prism, which is 11 feet. They've given us the height of the triangle, which is six and a half feet. But they did not give us the base of the triangle. So that's something that we're going to have to figure out. We're using the formula volume equals the base times the height. Again, for the capital B, it stands for um, one half base times height of the triangle. And then we're going to multiply it by the height of the um a prism piece the rectangle we know that the whole volume was 178.75 one half the base we don't know that's going to be x the height of the triangle was six and a half and the height of the um rectangle the prism piece is 11. all right so I'm going to be left with 178.75 on the left-hand side of the equation. If I take 6.5 times 11 and multiply that by 1 half, I get 35.75. And then I still have the X remaining. Well, my job is to figure out what X is equal to. So that means in order to get X by itself, I have to perform the opposite operation like what we talked about and learned about in Unit 3. So... 35.75 is being multiplied by x, so the opposite operation is going to be division. So we're going to divide both sides by 35.75. So that means we're going to be left with x on the right-hand side, because those cancel, we're left with 1. So in your calculator, take 178.75, divide it by 35.75, and see what you get.